Yo, what's happening, guys? It's Real Easy here, and I'm back today with another GTA 5 online glitch. And this one is the money glitch that I promised you guys from the last video. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, it's actually preparation on how to do this glitch. So, like, this video by itself, yeah, is a solo money glitch, but the preparation to do this, you do need a friend. All right, but once you and your friend help each other out, you know, 30 minutes apiece, that's it, okay? You don't need your friend at all anymore, and you can do freely, okay? Now... I will give you a warning. This glitch is a bit tricky to do, but that's why I made this video longer than I probably should have. But I wanted to kind of go over all my fails and what I did wrong and what you guys can avoid to actually hit it properly. So, uh, yeah, this is a semi solo money glitch. Shout out to a Knight 302 for posting this on Sins and 1156 because we're using his teleport trick. Uh, what you need, you need a big aircraft like the Titan in your facility. Uh, along with two BMX bikes in the facility. That's what I did in my last video. That will be down in the pinned comment. You need at least one retro custom or a Benny's vehicle to duplicate in your facility. I recommend having multiple retros. You'll see why. And uh, you don't need custom plates for this. You want also a bunch of Fagios or Elegies to dupe over in other garages. And also the MOC with the personal vehicle storage to actually save the vehicle. Okay. Now, here's a little tip also. You see this, the, uh, the Kanjali, the tank. You, if you have this in your facility and it's parked in this spot right here, you want to, well, obviously it's going to be parked in that spot no matter what, but if you have a Kanjali, I recommend blowing it up before doing this glitch. Now, those are some really good tips that Ninth, Knight 302 said because you can actually get your retro stuck in there and then you can't really get it out. So you have to, you know, leave the facility and come back. It's really annoying. So I recommend just getting rid of this. Just go ahead and blow it up just so that, you know, it's over at, uh, you know, you got to call Moore's Mucho to get it back later. You don't lose it, obviously, for good. This is just to get it out of the facility temporarily while you do this glitch. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. We're just getting rid of that just to get it out of the facility, just to do this. Um, yeah, so you're going to see right here exactly what we're doing with this glitch. So just like the drive-in facility, you know, methods and stuff like that, what we're doing is we're actually calling out a, a vehicle to dupe over so i sign in as an mc president because i think it's much easier and i just call out sanchez if you want you can call out fagios they're a little bit cheaper but i just use sanchez's remember just have one outside of the facility on the map somewhere okay that's all you need all right once you've done that we're just going to go ahead and make our way into the facility now w this is this this is like kind of the same idea of the drive-in method but we're not driving in the facility obviously we're solo there's no solo way to drive in the facility, but we're actually using the big Titan along with the retro to actually hit it so that it falls down. You see how like everything's going crazy? That's because we have a giant, you know, vehicle in here. So we're going to use that to our advantage and we're going to try to get that Titan to kick the retro off of the uh, the top, you know, the second floor right there over down to the first floor so that we can actually teleport in it. OK, we can't drive it. So we're just using that Titan to hit it, you know, like by itself, basically. And we're going to do that by swapping the vehicle. So what you want to do is go ahead and have the Titan and your retros close to the exit, the exit of the facility, which is over here in those two spots to the right. So you see right here, what I'm going to do now is just keep switching between those two spots. Uh, and on those two spots, I'm going to have my Titan and my LG Retro Custom. OK, so that's what we, that's what you're going to see right now. Now I have the bikes, you know, a little bit, you know, far away. They're still going to get hit, but. As you can see right here, this is all I'm doing. You see, I'm flipping through them and you see how it's just hitting the LG Retro Custom. We want that to get hit. Just keep switching back and forth and we want that to eventually flip down there. And you see that? Look at that. It fell right onto the first floor. That is probably one of the best, like, you know, ideal ways or ideal, you know, kind of positionings to get your car at. Now, I screwed it up. This was the first one I ever got down to the uh, the first floor and it was absolutely perfect. As you can see right here, if I go up to the car, I can actually teleport by just hitting Y right there into it. But, you know, as you can see right here, he actually, or, you know, she actually gets out through the second uh, door, the passenger door. So what you have to do is, this is why I said get BMX bikes in your facility. What we use with the BMX bikes for is you can actually drive them in the facility. So what you wanna do is only tap A or X to go around in these. If you tap LT or RT, you will get kicked out like what just happened to me right there. I got so excited, I was ready to do this. I hit I hit LT to break, and then I got kicked out of the facility. Whenever this happens, everything resets. So you have to return that vehicle to storage and then get another Sanchez or Fagio out and get ready to go. So I had to reset. I switched them back and forth a bunch of times. This was a, the second positioning I actually got. 
which was pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. You know, that's pretty close to the yellow circle. For sure, I'll be able to teleport in there. But same thing happened, actually. I went to go get a bike, and I by mistake pressed LT, and I got kicked out. All right, so be careful, guys. Only tap A, a and X in the facility when you're using the BMX bikes, okay? So here's an example of when I actually had the retro pretty close, and I could definitely teleport, and but both doors needed to be wedged. You grab both BMX bikes and you try to wedge both doors like that. But you want to make sure that the closest thing to the yellow circle, you know, to the exit of the facility is the car. But you see, I jumped the gun here. I didn't really test it out. So I was like, you know what? I have to be able to do it. So I did A, Y at the same time. That would be X triangle on PlayStation. And I hit A and Y. But look, I didn't get that flicker of actually getting into the car. You most likely will get that if you hit it successfully. But I could tell right off the bat that I probably didn't get it. And you see, I spawned outside on foot. You spawn outside on foot, make sure that your Sanchez or your Faggio is outside of the car you're duping over and go back inside, try it again. This was another positioning I got. Look how lucky I was getting, you know? That actually wedged the, the front or the driver's side door, but I needed a BMX bike to wedge the passenger side door. So I ended up failing that one again because I used the BMX and I pressed RT or LT. Anyways. We're, we're going to get over to the successful attempt, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that because I had such great positions and I wanted to show you that it's, it's yeah, it's a little bit of luck, but if you just keep doing this over and over again, eventually that Titan is going to hit that car into a really good positioning for you, okay? And we have the two BMX bikes there as insurance, so you don't have to have an exact positioning to get it. You know, you don't have to wedge both doors by themselves. You got the BMX bikes there for a reason. So what I'm doing right now is with those two slots over there, I'm actually just, you know, trying to get one of these retros. You see, I recommended having a bunch of retros. I put like three of them over there just to see if the, you know, one of them would get hit properly and check it out. Look at that. I actually have a retro that was over there. That's a custom donk over there, which is a Benny's vehicle. I could have duped that one as well. But as you can see, that's how I test it. You saw that I went to the yellow circle and I pressed wire triangle and I was actually able to walk over there. If you, if your guy doesn't walk to the car, from from the yellow circle then that means it's too far away you will not be able to teleport you have to make sure that you are the right distance away to be able to teleport and actually walk over to the car so what i'm doing now is i needed to wedge both doors so i need to grab both bmx bikes that i have that's why i recommended having two because you never know if you're going to have to wedge two doors and you make your way down there remember only tap a or x inside the facility to move this bmx bike do not press left trigger, right trigger, you know, L2, R2. Do not press those or you will get kicked out of the facility and everything is reset again. Okay, so as you can see right here, I am just wedging both doors with my bikes. Okay, now you have to make sure that you are, you are able to teleport in first of all, but before you go ahead and you try the AY trick, you have to make sure that you can teleport from the yellow circle and you have to find out that you can do it consistently, okay? So as you can see right here, I did it once and I was like, oh, okay, you know, I can do it again. But look, I pressed Y and, and she started walking. So I was like, what the heck? You know, there has got to be a certain way because I did it before. So I pressed Y again, started walking. Then I realized if I actually face a different direction, look what happens. All right, I'm going to face that direction. Look at that. I pressed Y and I teleported in. So I kind of realized, oh, I have to be looking like towards the Avenger when I press Y to teleport in. So I'm going to go ahead and try that again. Look, walking towards the Avenger, look at that. So it does work that way, at least in my case, okay? So I went ahead and I said, you know what? Screw it, let's do it. This is the one. So I'm walking, I'm gonna hit A and Y at the same time, and look at that, I hit it perfectly. I got the flicker of me going into the car, and I'm headed up through the elevator. We had a Sanchez outside that we're duping over, and check it out, look at the plate. That is a brand new plate right there. I just duped a car completely solo, okay? And now I'm gonna call it my MOC so that I can save the car in there now. Like I said, that part can be tricky inside the facility, but it's 100% solo once you get all the you know necessities that you need, the two BMX bikes and the aircraft, which once again, I'll leave that link down in the pinned comment. But you guys can just try this. And yeah, it took me a little while to get the first car, but I needed to get the hang of it. I needed to fail a lot so that I can you know succeed for you guys and give you guys the best tips to actually hit this properly. But I hope all these things really help you. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna go ahead and go to my MOC, hit right D-pad, and I will save this vehicle. Okay, now this vehicle is saved in my MOC and I have a brand new duplicate. I can sell this for close to a million dollars. There we go, okay? So if you wanted to do this again, what you would do is go outside your facility, 
call out another Sanchez, Faggio, or RH8, leave it outside, and then you go in there and you just swap the Titan with the Retros and you just try to get one, another one close to the yellow circle, okay? And if the doors aren't wedged, that's what you got the two BMX bikes for. Just make sure you do not hit LT or RT or you'll get kicked out of the facility and you have to restart completely, okay? But, and also make sure before you do the teleport glitch that you have a vehicle outside that you are duping over. That's very, very important, all right? So like I said before, I hope all these different tips and tricks that I you know gave you in this video helped you out and hopefully will help you hit this successfully. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody.